Hi, I'm Kaylee Hunter Gasparini, and welcome back to Tell It Like It Is. National Decision Day has finally passed, and everywhere you look, a ginormous weight has been lifted off the shoulders of many exhausted students. I sat down with some of these students to hear what they had to go through and the specific obstacles they faced before they committed. It was really hard for me to, to you know, picture, okay, how am I going to feel two years ahead when I'm in school and am I going to regret not being somewhere else? The deciding factor in this particular school was that I just felt most at home when I visited. I honestly didn't even like intend to apply to the school. I did it last minute just in case because I wanted more schools to choose from and then when I visited I absolutely loved it. Financially it was like a really big decision for me. Um, one college was a lot more cheaper and, but it wasn't my top choice and the other college was my top choice but it was a lot more expensive so that was a big hurdle I had to go over. So I had it down to two different schools. Um, I was just really between them and I was just felt absolutely stuck. This was like to apply ED um, to one of them. Um, and then I just realized that one was like a little too far from home and like the science department wasn't like quite up to what I wanted it to be. Um, so that kind of made it easier, but I was so stuck. The two schools that I was comparing were very similar. So it was mostly just having to go make like pros and cons lists and try to figure out which was better between two, like uh, what were the strengths that one had versus the strengths of the other. I also thought it helpful to speak with someone who has supported many seniors on their journeys, so I sat down with Ms. Karen Hidalgo. I think there's a couple of different things that come up. One I think is that it's such a huge decision that um, it's easy to feel anxious about it and I think sometimes people get a little bit stuck in what's the right choice. The thing that comes up the most often with students is you know how to afford to go and some of the colleges can offer really good financial aid packages and and some of them not so much and so try to figure out and, and it can be really tricky if a student has their heart set on a particular college but the package that they get to other colleges are better. I think it's important to remember that how you feel the college is so much more important than the name of the college. So honestly I was thinking what gets me the farthest so is the education that I'm getting, is it worth the money? Think about like how you feel in the setting, and, like, and if you can picture being there for four years. So congratulations seniors, unlike some celebrities we know you haven't scammed your way in. Good luck to you all and happy Friday.